Hello friends, Techman Pat here. Today we're gonna to do a quick unboxing and setting up the smart Wi-Fi plug. So let's have a look what's in the box. This is a TP-Link smart Wi-Fi plug. Um, it was on sale on Amazon for 18 Australian dollar roos, but now it is back to $29.99, so basically $30. Um, I am doing another video of a review of this item, and I have to say so far I've had great, I guess, impressions, uh, and we'll get to that in the review. But let's have a look what's inside, what does this come with? Um, but you know, as expected, it's not really that much. Uh, we've got a bit of uh, notes um, that probably a lot of people will not read and we've got the item itself and that's it. <laughs> First thing you'll notice is that it's quite heavy. Um, it is not, I suppose, uh, a light um, thing. It does have a mechanical switch inside, which is a really good thing. And we've got a little bit of a plastic sticker on there. Uh, there it is, uh, we've unboxed it, well done. Now we're gonna set it up. So this is a live power plug. This is an Australian power plug. And to start off, before we plug it in, and I know you guys wanna get really, really keen on plugging in it, let's actually download the app. So if you go to the app store on any device, it could be, for example, your Apple device. Um, let's say we go to the Apple store. All you have to search for is CASA, K A S A for mobile or whatever, and it's gonna be the first thing, Casa Smart, uh, Smart Home, as you can see, and you're gonna download that login with your actual login, uh, which you might have to create if this is the first time you have a TP-Link, but if you have a TP-Link cloud account, uh, you'll be able to log in through that. So that's that part. Now let's actually plug it in, and what happens when you plug it in? Not really much, the light will turn on. There we go, we've got an orange light here and a green light here. So what we're gonna do now is in the app, you will see that there is a plus button on the right hand side. Tap into that and we're gonna go the new device, right? Cause we're gonna be connecting one. Now search for the smart plug and you'll see it. It's actually the shape. This is the HS100 model. Um, so we'd select that. And what you're gonna do is the smart plug Wi-Fi will turn on, it's solid orange. And we tap next after 15 seconds we're gonna try and connect to that TP-Link account. So we go back to system settings and we go into our Wi-Fi and we select, uh, well, you select the TP-Link Smart Plug 8A4F and it's going to connect to it, hopefully. Um, there we go, all connected and we can now go back to the app and it'll start spinning and saying, hey, I am connecting and there we go. Now we need to connect to a 2G Wi-Fi. This doesn't do 5G and that's fair enough. Uh, actually the reason for that and one of the many reasons why you wanna to connect to 2G for your smart devices is because they can connect on long distances through walls and it's really good. Now I don't have to type in the password. I've already got it. We're just already adding another one but remember to type in your Wi-Fi password. The light will start flashing and you'll be able to to connect. Um, it's a very easy setup and I have to admit like out of all the apps I've had for smart devices the TP-Link has really shown how far they've come not just with the device itself but with the actual um, software. That's a real plus when you're buying a smart device. If software is crap but the device is cool it's not going to work very well. So let's name this device we're just going to call it Switch uh, one because I don't know where I'm gonna put it <laughs> save your name and you can customize the logo so sometimes you might choose a lamp or a light but I'm just gonna go with the plug for now um, and save you can also take a photo um, congratulations you've configured a smart plug and it's ready to use in your device sounds good um, there it is now for example this is plugged into the light over here on the left and I'm gonna tap off on the light as you can see the light went off and on here off on. And what I want to show you, I'll switch that off, and if you look at the light over here, you can see that it turns off Boop. as I tap the button. Now, if you go into the actual switch, you can then go into the schedule and say, well, I want to change the schedule when this is going to go on and off. Let's say I want to turn the power to be on at, let's say, 9 20, which will be in a few minutes. We're not gonna wait that long, but that's all you have to do. Monday to Friday or Monday to Sunday, whatever the setting, you can set it up. Now, if you wanna go for something like a timer, you can set it up, you know, let's say you wanna turn it on in one minute. On, there we go. Start, oh, off, sorry, well, it's on now. So in 59 seconds, it will turn off. Um, we'll stop that, I don't know why you'd use that. Let me know in the comments below if you'd use that. And we've got runtime, how long it's been running. It's been 0 0.2, so two minutes has been on. We can get some information about how long it's been running, but this will not provide you information on 
how much power you use. From an academic paper that I read a little while back, it's about 0.4% that you can save if you were to put everything in your home on standby every night with smart plugs. It's probably not worth it at all, especially if these cost $30. But in any case, friends, thank you very much for watching. This was a little setup on how to do this. I'm gonna be getting a whole bunch of other TP-Link items, um, smart home items, because it's super popular at the moment. I think it's gonna be, well, it is the next big thing, isn't it? Um, and I'm hoping to make a lot more videos with you guys about this and how I'm gonna try and make my smart home, my home smart with TP-Link. Um, this was not sponsored in any way, so thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in another, and I'll put a link to the Amazon product page so you guys can have a look for yourself. So far, so good. Um, thanks for watching, like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in another video, bye.